Hi, welcome to the Idiot's Guide to Identifying EK2s or Iron Cross Second Class. So, you've bought or are planning to buy your first or nth Iron Cross. You've watched enough videos on YouTube to know the difference between an original and a fake one. However, you still have no idea how to identify the unmarked ones. Lots of makers, good ones, hardly mark their crosses. So you spend hours researching, or not, asking experts, joining and looking at forums, groups, etc. But to your frustration, they are all just words. You still don't know exactly what to look for. You know, you're still stuck. You bought an iron cross, but you don't know who the maker is. Sure, many references talk about the makers and crosses, but they hardly pinpoint the clues. They don't tell you what to exactly look for. So here, simply watch the videos and it should help you get familiar with what to look for. Alright, again, these videos are only basic features of the Iron Cross, but it will be a good start for you. After you watch one particular video, we would like you to be able to walk away and say, that's a good day, that's a doimer, that's a deschler. Little features, little clues, but it will help you be able to identify what cross you're looking at all right saves you some money makes you fall in love with the hobby and makes you feel like a genius like our man right here just pointing at the like bulb all right so please subscribe like share watch and uh yeah just continue spreading the love we appreciate all your support and if you guys have any suggestions or if you want to see any other makers let me know in the comments below and we'll get to them as soon as we can Again, this is Chris Kreutz. Thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you on the next one.